Hello and welcome to an India Today special broadcast that comes to you from the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. I'm Gaurav Savant. We're standing at gate number four of the Kashi Vishwanath Temple and a large number of devotees visiting the temple. But this is also Friday and Jumeki Namaz. You have a large number of Muslim devotees coming to the Gyanwapi Mosque using, of course, exactly the same uh, entrance, gate number four, to get to the Gyanwapi Mosque. And just moments earlier, you had one of the Malvis of the Gyanwapi Mosque come out and on police loud hailers tell the number of namazis that they need to go to another mosque because this mosque is full to capacity. You still have a large number of Muslim pilgrims who are coming here to offer namaz, but they're not being permitted to go inside. The gates are now shut. The Maulanas keep coming out and now they're saying that we will try and get to see that if a couple of more people can be permitted inside, but the mosque is full to capacity. Wazoo is not permitted in the Gyanwapi Mosque premises, but there, of course, is the Razia Ki Masjid, uh, uh, just a stone throw distance from here. Uh, and because uh, they cannot uh, do Wazoo here, the Wazoo area has been sealed off uh, since the Hindu pilgrims say or the Hindu Paksh insist that there is a shivling there and they will not permit Wazoo to happen at a shivling. The Muslim side insists that that's a, a fountain and now it's for the courts to decide that. So that aspect remains unsettled and that is why Wazoo is being done at the Razia Ki Masjid or people are being told to go to some other mosque in the area but not come here. So some some uh, Muslim pilgrims, uh, you know, they they namazis, they want to come here and offer namaz, but uh, uh, the Maulana the, said that it's it's packed to capacity. Initially, it was said there may be a couple of hundred uh, namazis who will come here, but that figure, uh, according to one of the Maulanas here, officially the police are not giving any figure, but that Maulana said there already are around 700 namazis inside uh, and there is no place for any more uh, namazis to come here. Uh, and yet, uh, uh, since there are still a large number of people waiting outside to go inside, a couple of others, once verified, are being permitted to go inside. Meanwhile, there's breaking news uh, that's coming in from the Allahabad High Court. The Allahabad High Court has adjourned petitions that was in the Allahabad High Court. The next date of hearing is now on the 6th of July in the Allahabad High Court. There are multiple petitions in multiple co co uh, courts that are being addressed and these are uh, some of the namazis who still want to go into the Gyanwapi Mosque to offer namaz but uh, not permitted is what they are being told. But I want to cut across to India today, Samarth Srivastav joining us for more on the story. Samarth, what more can you tell us what transpired in the Allahabad High Court? See, the hearing has been adjourned till, till 6 of July by Allahabad High Court and it's going to be massive because a lot of time has been given, a time of months has been given for the hearing. But what I can show you is the other visuals you are reporting from gate number 4. I am here at the particular narrow lane. From there, the people are coming in large numbers and right behind me, I can show you a lot of, lot of members coming out for the namaz purposes. I'll try to speak some of them, though they are mostly tight-lipped. आप लोग को यहाँ पर आज बताया गया था कि कम लोग आएंगे? जी नहीं हम लोग को नहीं बताया गया था। मतलब तो कमिटी की तरफ से जारी हुआ था ना? नहीं हम लोग को नहीं बताया गया। नहीं बताया गया था। नहीं। जो वजूस था जो सील हो गया उसके बारे में जानकारी है? जी उसके बारे में तो जानकारी है कि सील हो गया है। और घर से लोग वजू करके आ रहे हैं नमाज पढ़ने के लिए आप लोग घर से वजू करके आ रहे हैं जी आप लोगों को नमाज पढ़ना जी जी अच्छा भाई साहब आपका भी यही है मतलब वजू करके आप आ रहे हैं जी यस अच्छा पर यहाँ तो कहा गया था कि कम लोग आज आएंगे क्योंकि वजू स्थल सी नहीं ऐसा तो नहीं है कौन पेपर में आया कौन यह हिंदुस्तान में किसी में नहीं है पत्र जो है मस्जिद कमेटी ने एक रिलीज किया है कमेटी ने नहीं कुछ कहा है ये मीडिया से बना के आना बना के आना है आपको अच्छा ये तो मीडिया के एक काम आदमी को आना ज़्यादा आदमी को आना मीडिया नहीं एक एक पत्र भी मस्जिद कमेटी की तरफ से रिलीज किया गया था उसमें लिखा था कि कम लोग को आना और वजू करके आना है तो आप लोग वजू करके आए सर मतलब वजू सर का आप लोग को आज जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगा वजू करके घर से आए घर से आए आज जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगा क्यों जरूरत पड़ेगी जब वजू किया तो क्यों जरूरत पड़ेगी दोबारा वजू करने की 
तो और भी लोग हैं यहाँ पर आप लोग को बताया गया था आज की जो है कम लोग को यहाँ पर आना है क्योंकि वजूस तस्वीर कर दिया गया भाई जवाब देने का कोई फायदा नहीं है समझ इसके लिए आर्टिकल की भैंस अच्छा जवाब देने का कोई फायदा आप कुछ कहना चाहेंगे चौराहा Obviously closed, but on the other side of the where you are reporting, there are barricades put by the UP police, and that this particular lane, narrow lane, which I am trying to show, this is heavily. There is no, not a single inch for the footfall out here. You can see just people waiting for their lines, waiting for their chance for the namaz. Though most of them are saying that they have washed their hands and and legs, though they have done, they have performed wuzu at their homes. They have just come for the namaz. But as the orders were clear, as were directed, and uh, and it was advised by the masjid committee, not much people should arrive. And as you just said, that around 700 people are already inside the mosque. An announcement were made from inside the mosque that the mosque is full. And then at that point, seeing a lot okay. of public out here, you know, and namaz, that is where. some some who are insisting samarth i want you to see these images some people who are insisting that they had come here and they were waiting very patiently uh, they should be permitted so some of these youngsters who've done wazu at the razia ki masjid they are now being permitted to go inside and offer namaz in small groups uh, they are being told that they can stand in a corner and offer namaz uh, since they've been waiting for quite some time and waiting very patiently to go in Uh, the molana of course uh, the uh, the person in charge of the intizamia committee is saying that now uh, now the masjid is packed to capacity and no more should be permitted inside otherwise no one will be able to offer namaz there is some argument right now going on between two sides of the intizamia committee as you can see in these images while some or some people are trying to get those close to them to come inside the in charge of the of the intizamia committee he is saying that you cannot come in any more there is no capacity you know they may be able to stand in one corner but they will not be able to offer namaz there is no place and that is why some of them are now being asked to leave you can hear the argument you can see there is some tension between elements uh, uh, here itself as some are now being told you cannot go in and offer namaz the police very patiently watching uh, and letting the community handle the situation themselves to ensure that it's amicably resolved those who cannot offer namaz here uh, are going to the razia ki masjid others are being told to go to other masjids uh, in in either this locality or some other locality but not congregate here to uh, which which could lead to a situation where they may not be able to offer namaz at all the hindu devotees who are coming to the kashi vishwanath temple and you have a large number of hindu devotees also coming they are now not using this gate number 4 for this two hour period between 12 and 2 they are going to the other side they are going to the exit gate uh, and uh, making an entry from there so as of now चलिए चलिए सबको फोन हेलो तो अगर इस तरीके से बात होगी तो सारे लोग दो बात बता दू खत्म हो जाएगा मामला पहले तो ये तय हुआ की जितनी गुंजाइश हो कई लोग अंदर जाएंगे गुंजाइश है या नहीं वॉलंटियर तय करेंगे आप इस तरह मत कहो आप जाओ नमाज पढ़ो मैं देख लेता हूँ अभी अंदर गुंजाइश है लोगों को बुला लूंगा इंतजामिया कमिटी सेज इट इज फॉर देम टू मेक अरेंजमेंट देर आर पीपल हु आर कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड पुलिस रोक रही है लोगों बहुत ज्यादा नहीं पुलिस नहीं रोक रही है पुलिस नहीं रोक रही है क्या बाहर धूप में भी नमाज पढ़ेंगे नहीं नहीं बाहर धूप नहीं वो जो आंगन है आंगन है और अंदर सहन है उसके बाद मस्जिद है तीन तीन खंड है उसमें कहीं धूप नहीं कंफ्यूजन किस बात का था भाई जान के जगह भर गई है और अंदर नहीं जाने दे रहे हैं अब किसके मुँह ऐसी ये निकला की भर गई और नहीं जाने दे रहे हैं गलत है नहीं नहीं लेकिन वो तो लाउड स्पीकर में देखिए 
आप लोग बाइट ले रहे हैं वहाँ लोग पैनिक क्रिएट कर रहे हैं कि आप क्यों बाइट दे रहे हैं मैं हाँ। एक लाइन बोल के जा रहा हूँ प्लीज मुझे मत मतलब ये तय हुआ था कि जितनी क्षमता है उतने लोग अंदर जाएंगे एक भी व्यक्ति ज्यादा अंदर नहीं जाएगा वॉलंटियर सुनिश्चित करेंगे कि अंदर जगह भर गई है कि नहीं और जैसे ही वो इशारा करेंगे लोग अपने घरों को चले जाएंगे मुफ्ती साहब ने नहीं अभी नहीं अभी तीन लोगों की जगह तो कैसे वापस कर देंगे रोजाना तो पच्चीस पचास लोग रोज की नमाज में जुम्मे की नमाज में मस्जिद भर जाती है क्षमता कितनी है गिना नहीं गया हजार हो सकता हजार डेढ़ हजार हजार डेढ़ हजार के भी इलाकों से लोग नमाज पढ़ रहे नहीं नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं इसी इलाके के हैं बाहर इसी शहर के जो उनको रोका गया फिर वहाँ दूसरी तरफ गए कुछ चीखते चिल्लाते नजर आ रहे थे क्यों क्यों मैंने देखा नहीं तो मैं क्या बताऊँ क्यूँ अभी जाने दे रहे हाँ जाने दे रहे हैं जाने दे रहे हैं आप मुझे जाने दे तो मैं सुनिश्चित करूँगी अंदर जगह So this is the situation as of now. There is confusion uh, about uh, how many people can go in, how many people uh, can offer namaz uh, here at this point of time. Uh, the confusion has also been raised, also because some of the volunteers here said that people are coming from far off areas. They don't belong to this area. They usually do not come to this mosque every Friday to offer Jumeirah ki namaz, but uh, they have come here. Uh, is that leading to some confusion? Because the police are also saying that they. could be between 300 to 400 uh, namazis waiting on the other end uh, of the road so it remains to be seen how this will be resolved i once again want to bring in india today samarth shrivastav for more on this samarth where you are uh, you know beyond razia ki masjid we are told that this masjid is full we are told razia razia ki masjid is also full and as samarth is speaking to some people i'll get you more on that story but in the meantime what has actually been found inside my colleague shweta singh spoke to vishal singh vishal singh is uh, the court appointed court commissioner when this process of uh, survey of this area was carried out on the 14th 15th and 16th of may we bring you this india today exclusive विशाल सिंह वो इस समय हमारे साथ हैं बहुत सारी चीजें हैं बहुत सारी बातें हैं विस्तार से आप सब भी समझना चाहते होंगे लेकिन जो चीजें आप वहां पर देख कर आए विशाल जी उम्मीद थी आपको जी जो चीजें वहां दिखाई गई दिखी वहां पे जो चीजें वो तो मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में एकदम विस्तृत रूप से लिख दी है जो भी कोर्ट कमीशन कार्रवाई के दौरान जो जो चीजें हुई वहां पे और वो पूरी डिटेल मैंने ली है कि अगर डिफेंडेंट कुछ इस पे ऑब्जेक्शन करता है वो भी मैंने लिखा प्लेंटिव कुछ करता है उसको भी मैंने लिखा है अपनी रिपोर्ट में और पूरा जैसे बोला गया वैसे मैंने लिख दिया है अपनी रिपोर्ट में विशाल जी लेकिन आपने देखा क्या क्योंकि आंखों देखिए हम आपसे ही समझना चाहते हैं अब तो ये रिपोर्ट भी सार्वजनिक है जो शिवलिंग है कहा गया कि वो शिवलिंग है कहा गया कि वो फवारा है आपने उसको कैसे ढूंढा जी ये कमीशन के दौरान ये सब चीजें आई तो बीच में एक चीज छूटा हुआ था तो ये हुआ इसकी भी कमीशन कर ली जाए खाने की जी और वादी पक्ष द्वारा बार बार जोर दिया जा रहा था कि इसको देखा जाए इसको देखा जाए तो उसको हम लोगों ने देखा तो ये मैंने ये शिवलिंग वगैरह नहीं लिखा है मैंने ओवल शेप लिखा है ये काला पत्थर है और वादी पक्ष द्वारा ये कहा गया प्रतिवादी पक्ष द्वारा ये कहा गया कि फुआरा है वो भी मैंने एकदम डिटेल लिखा हुआ है और उसमें मैंने उसके आगे लिखा है कि मैंने जब कहा कि फुआरा चालू कर दीजिए तो फुआरा बंद था पहले कहा बीस साल से बंद है बाद में कहा बारह साल से बंद है ये भी मैंने लिखा है और जो इंतजाम कार हैं उस मस्जिद के उनकी मैंने एक बयान भी ले लिया कि 12 साल से बोले कि बंद है वो लिखा हुआ है वो भी मैंने कोर्ट में सबमिट कर दिया है एक और बात कह रहे हैं ना सब की उसके नीचे कोई हिस्सा है जहां से हो सकता है पूरा वो जाता हो शिला क्या आपने शिला का और छोर देखा जी जो कमीशन के दौरान जो दिखा मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में लिख दिया बाद में ये लोग कहने लगे नीचे जाने के लिए तो वो नीचे जाने का मेरे पास कोई आदेश नहीं था तो मैंने उस पर अपनी रिपोर्ट में एकदम साफ साफ दर्शा दिया है ये केवल आदेश नहीं था या फिर कोई नीचे नीचे चूँकि बार बार वादी पक्ष द्वारा कहा जा रहा था नीचे चलिए नीचे चलिए इसको ये करिए दीवार खुलवा दीजिए दीवार खुलवाने खुलवाने का मेरे पास आदेश नहीं था दीवार दीवार थी बहुत कम लोग हैं जो कि पूरे इस तरीके को इस तरीके से मुआयना किया होगा आपने पूरे भीतर परिसर का मुआयना किया सनातन धर्म के प्रमाण आपको मिले हैं वहाँ पर सारे तय खानों में मस्जिद में गुंबदों पर मैं बता दूँ जो जो दिख, दिखा है वहाँ पे वो जो जो आप जो जो मैंने अपनी रिपोर्ट में लिखा है जो जो दिखा है वो मैंने लिख दिया है और दीवारों पर खुदा हुआ जैसे खुद जैसे खुदा हुआ 
कोई आकृति है वो खोदा है उसके ऊपर से पेंट है तो प्रतिवादी पक्ष ने कहा कि यह निशान है तो वो भी मैंने लिखा है उसमें जो जो चीजें दिखी हैं वो दिखी लिखी गई हैं so that issue that that remained here about a large number of namazis who were outside at least for now that appears to have been settled all the namazis who were here uh, that point has been uh, addressed but i want to now just walk across so this was the entrance to the kashi vishwanath temple i want to walk, walk across to the gyanwapi mosque uh, premises and this is where this is the gyanwapi mosque premises and this is where namaz is being offered even as we speak uh, by some accounts there are more than 700 hundred uh, namazis inside at this point of time samarth shrivastav joins me i believe samarth uh, there are a couple of hundred if not more still waiting to come in what more can you tell us what's happening where you are samarth <laughs> Lot of tension is prevailing in the lanes where I am reporting from, and there are announcements making by the mosque community out here. And I'll, I'll try to go and reach out to their place. Sir, क्या sir क्या announcements हैं? क्या message हैं? कि जो लोग बाहर message क्या दिया जा रहा है आप लोगों को? क्या message दे? आप लोग क्या message दे रहे हैं? Message ये दे रहे हैं कि शराब से नमाज पढ़ो अपने घर जाओ. और क्या मैसेज देंगे आप सर मस्जिद कमेटी से आप मस्जिद कमेटी से हाँ एक जिम्मेदार नागरिक हूँ सो यू कैन सी अलॉट ऑफ पीपल आउट हेयर एंड मैसेज इज बिंग सर्क्यूरेटेड टू डिस्पर्स इन सम अदर मॉस्ट आउट हेयर बिकॉज राइट बिहाइंड मी व्हाट लेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू शो यू इज कम्प्लीटली फिल्ड विद मेंबर्स ऑफ मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी आउट हेयर एंड विद ऑन विद माइक्स ऑन देयर इज अ सेंस ऑफ मैसेज सर आप लोग को कुछ बताया गया था कि मस्जिद में नमाज होगी या नहीं होगी नहीं हमें नहीं पता हम तो नमाज पढ़ के आए पढ़ के आए कहाँ गया गया वापिस नहीं अपने मस्जिद अपने अपने पास पास से वहाँ पर क्या मैसेज आज गया था कि जो वजू स्थल है उसको सील कर दिया गया है वजू स्थल को सील सब राजनीतिक स्टंट है अच्छा ये सब हम लोग उसे लेना नहीं क्या शुभ नाम है आप ये सन चौबीस की फसल बुआई हो रही है कटेगी दो गज दबी हुई चाहिए दो गज कफन के साथ हमको तो मर के भी रहना है खाके वतन के साथ सो यू कैन सी आर सेंटिमेंट्स कमिंग आउट हेयर फ्रॉम द मेंबर ऑफ मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी गौरव बट वट आई कैन शो यू लॉट ऑफ पब्लिक आउट हेयर बिहाइंड मी एंड लॉट ऑफ पुलिस मैन आउट हेयर यू पी पुलिस जवान बैरिकेट्स ऑल अराउंड एंड पीपल कमिंग इन लार्ज नंबर्स एंड ऑल्सो अनाउंसमेंट्स बी मेड आउटसाइड हेयर एंड देयर एंड आई ट्राई टू गो टू सम अदर पर्सन एज वेल लेकिन ये चौराहे चौराहे पे रोका जा रहा है ये काम गलत है मैदानी से पूरा टोटल रोका जा रहा है ये चौराहे पर रोक दे रहे हैं कि जैसे सात सौ आठ सौ आदमी उसमें हुए तो वो मस्जिद बहुत फूल हो गई बहुत फूल मिला ओके सो समर्थ कंटिन्यूज टू रिपोर्ट एंड वाइस समर्थ रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम एन एरिया पीपल आर नॉट बिंग परमिटेड टेक अ लुक एट दिस एरिया नाउ वन मोर बैरिकेड हैज बीन सेट अप ऑन दी अदर साइड ऑफ दिस रोड एंड दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस रोड हियर इन काशी दिस इज द मेन एक्सेस टू द काशी विश्वनाथ टेम्पल and there you see an additional barricade has been set up and there are more uh, uh, you know muslim pilgrims on the other side devotees on the other side namazis on the other side who are now unable to come because there is no capacity is what the masjid volunteers now say now because they cannot uh, uh, come in here they are being asked to be diverted to the razia ki masjid i also want to cut across now to india today's anisha mathur and anisha all eyes on the supreme court to suggest a way forward in this in this uh, tricky situation well yes god of the hearing in the supreme court is expected to begin at around 3 pm the bench of justices dy chandrachur ps narsimha and justice surakant is going to hear this matter and this is going to be very very crucial to watch as the supreme court is expected to pass some orders on the uh, muslim petitioners petition remember the uh, Uh, Varanasi Masjid Committee had approached the Supreme Court, seeking a stay on what is going on in the uh, Varanasi Civil Court, saying that any kind of orders, any kind of survey, any kind of uh, uh, videography would post, uh, would have the potential to change the religious uh, character of the area. In fact, they had also challenged the May 16th order of the uh, Varanasi Civil Court, which had said that there should be sealing of the area where uh, the claim is made that a uh, shivling has been found. Now, all of these. issues will have to be considered very very carefully by the supreme court as the mosque committee says that all of these petitions are barred by the places of worship act that this is only a uh, this is only being used as a means to inflame communal tensions that this is going to have a much larger impact or uh, larger uh, ramifications across the country at the same time the hindu side claiming 
that this is not a mosque this is a temple and they want the right to enter the temple they want unfettered right to enter the temple to uh, worship to conduct daily worship uh, and puja of the shringar gauri uh, idol and the other uh, idols including nandi ganesh and shiv in that particular premises now it is for the supreme court to now Fig, uh, figure out how to balance these rights for now the supreme court had said that you preserve whatever has been found uh, wh uh, what is being claimed to be a shivling you preserve that properly but you do not create any sort of obstructions to the namaz that is offered there at the same time the up government and the local administration also is expected to put their views forward on what is there what is and what are the legal aspects of all of these questions can really uh, how far will the courts have to go with regard to balancing these rights can this kind of a petition seeking right to worship be filed which is saying that you remove the walls you remove the obstructions which in effect would uh, would mean that you remove the mosque Rajiv, itself so the through. court will have to balance this very very carefully uh, with regard to the right to worship as well as the law laid down in the places of worship act which said that you cannot raise any disputes uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, about the places they have to remain as they were at the time of independence so a lot of things will have to be considered by the court back to you but that's that's the tricky question and that's the tricky question for the supreme court to answer that is that right to worship act 1991 in violation of a fundamental right to pray uh, because the hindu side very clearly says and you know we've been inside we've been inside uh, to the kashi vishwana temple uh, and and very clearly when you look at the mosque uh, structure which is now disputed uh, the hindu side says this also was a part of uh, the the kashi vishwana temple very very clearly there are symbols which are visible to the naked eye you don't need to go inside a basement uh, to see various symbols associated with the hindu religion including idols either on the western wall or on the walls and pillars of this place the hindu side now of course says that there is a basement tehkhana as they say part of it has been walled up they want those walls to be taken down because that walling up according to the hindu side is a subsequent development relatively new bricks found there they want that to be removed to know the truth about what lies beneath where what they claim is the shivling or the muslim side claims is a fountain what lies beneath what do historians say let's get your historical perspective प्राचीन मंदिर है जो बाहर से जो दीवार दिखाई पड़ती है मस्जिद की वो उसमें जो मोल्डिंग्स बने हुए हैं वो ब्राह्मणिकल स्ट्रक्चर के होते हैं और किसी भी प्रकार से वो मस्जिद के स्ट्रक्चर में नहीं पाए जाते हैं जिस तरह की मोल्डिंग्स उसमें दिखाई पड़ती हैं दीवारों पर सीरीज ऑफ फ्रिजेस दिखाई पड़ते हैं जिसमें कि जोमेट्रिकल पैटर्नस दिखाई पड़ते हैं तो ये सब चीज़ें प्राय मस्जिदों के दीवाल पर नहीं पाई जाती हैं तो इस करके और ये मोल्डिंग्स को देखने से हमको ऐसा लगता है कि ये दसवीं नौवीं दसवीं शताब्दी के एंड व्हेन यू गो इन फ्रॉम दिस गेट नंबर फोर हियर एट द काशी विश्वनाथ टेंपल यू वॉक इन यू टर्न राइट एंड देन लेफ्ट अगेन एंड द मोमेंट यू गेट यू सी दीज ह्यूज Uh, uh you know barricades that have been set up and underneath those barricades uh you look at hindu uh, you know idols of hindu gods and goddesses when you look at the uh, masjid the structure and that masjid structure is very clearly visible you look at as the historian was just telling us uh, you look at certain brahminical or old hindu architecture is that usually found in 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 mosques for example is a swastika found in a mosque or is a shank found in a mosque is the trishul uh, a trident of lord shiv or a damru associated with lord shiv are they found at mosque walls and if not then what was the structure we've heard the historical perspective i want to cut across to samarth shrivastava and samarth you've been speaking to the petitioners the five petitioners who initially wanted unhindered access to the sringar gauri sthal to be able to pray round the clock or wherever they wanted they now want access to the shivling that the muslims called a fountain what further investigations are being sought now
see the survey report has already been su submitted gorav and the major chunk will come out only on 23rd of may when some order or disclosure regarding the report will take place by the court because what indicated tv access the report the court commissioner did not completely uh, explain whether it's a shivling or it's a, it's a fountain because muslim side is claiming it's a fountain hindu side is claiming it's a shivling but what report clearly says that there is some white object over that particular shivling or fountain which is somewhere somehow different to the material posted below that particular portion though that part was still has been has been sealed as per the directions but what we get from the sources that nine locks have been posted around those around the premises and that is the reason why muslim men are not are not allowed in large numbers to offer namaz in the mosque though there are people inside but not that level because earlier they had they had the time for washing hands and legs so they have been given some advice to do that wazu thing inside the homes and come for namaz or or else do the namaz in the inside doors yes gorav Stay with me for a moment. We will take this discussion forward. The Supreme Court is to hear this case at 3 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. Both sides putting forward their points of view, but the legal position. India Today's Preeti Chaudhary spoke to Pinky Anand, the very senior advocate, and Pinky Anand's perspective. Up next on India Today. You know, ma'am, legally. do you see this go exactly the way as the babri uh, you know what happened after babri then the ayodhya land dispute is it going exactly the same way of course there is no demolition of the structure but legally speaking well priti there there are a number of uh, similarities definitely to the issues in question i mean there is partial uh, demolition here partial uh, which happened during the time of aurangzeb and whatever the history records it uh, and definitely there are disputed sections which are claiming uh, the the privilege of uh, the area of worship in question so one of course the petitioners who had filed the petition in the first place seeking uh, the opportunity to give prayers at the shivling and to enter that area and the other of course the Uh, muslim segment which is claiming um, its rights to continue with it to mosque and not to have any intervention at that stage so this is exactly somewhere where uh, the babri masjid also headed with three dif disputing contestants as far as the issues concerned how it would go i'm afraid i would find it impossible to predict uh, right. but i do i can say and again the evidence part of it for example the evidence that came out in babri masjid itself was indicative of the fact of the rights um, of the temple and the deity to have a continuation of worship in that area similar appears to be uh, forthcoming in the present matter of course we will know with in due course because the special commissioner also has submitted the report the report has not been made public uh, i repeat but whatever one has seen from the indications and of the course of the supreme court also passing an order appears to indicate that there is no ambiguity whatsoever it is certain that a shivling did exist however the determination and the adjudication process will of course go on and decide the ultimate issues in hand whether it goes exactly the same way as the babri masjid went uh, in in the sense that uh, the hindus were given another site to uh, build a temple and to, uh, to offer their worships there and that is the manner in which the issue was held uh, i cannot say but uh, well there are always reasonable po possibilities you have a large bench a uh, constitution bench which ultimately rendered the judgment which has been enforced and we've seen those times it came out of lucknow and finally landed up in uh, the supreme court and uh, all the legal arguments uh, having been considered it was ultimately held that the, everybody's rights should be protected and that is the manner in which the babri masjid judgment went this judgment we will see how it will run in the course of time dr singh we were speaking to ms pinky anand and she was uh, of the opinion that the constitutionality of the places of worship act is in question and that's the question that i want to ask you right now sir because we have one lower court after the other taking up uh, highly sensitive highly contentious issues like the you know of places of worship should they be doing so are they in violation of the places of worship act 1991 well you are asking a legal question so let me give you a legal answer there are of course wider ramifications political social etc legal question of yours the answer has to be an emphatic no the suit is not even maintainable it is not fileable there is no point of wasting time in adjudicating a proceeding which at inception is still born now let me tell you why it is still born 
it is not a value judgment it was a value judgment made by parliament decades ago to put things as they are by an act called as you know the place of worship act that act has stood the test of time it's no point talking about the constitutional validity of something being under challenge you may have 100 acts in india the validity of which is under challenge because there could be a million petitions challenging them does that mean that till such time as that challenge is allowed the act is stayed the act is quashed the act is removed by judicial order till such time you will ignore it is that parliamentary act a part of the law of the land there is absolutely it is elementary that so long as an act stands and there are only two ways either the act is repealed by three ways repealed by parliament itself which has not happened here or a court order has stayed the operation of the act which has not happened here or the court by final judgment has quashed the act which has also not happened here absent these three how can you start ignoring an act so all eyes now on the supreme court and india today has the biggest team on ground zero here and in the supreme court we will continue to get you the latest a quick break coming back with lots more stay with us